Windows 10 is a favorite of many of us, but unfortunately, 14th of October 2025 is the last date for it. So, what is going to happen when you start your Windows 10 PC on the morning of 15th October 2025? Will it not boot at all? Is it going to expire? What exactly happens after the 14 October 2025? Microsoft has declared the end of support date for Windows 10 operating systems on 14th October 2025. End of support doesn't exactly mean that software is going to stop working. It means Microsoft is going to abandon it. It will still work, but it will not receive any updates, including the patches and security updates. Microsoft will not fix any bugs or vulnerabilities after that. The end of support date is about more than a year remaining, but I can see that they have already moved on. After a few months from here, they will minimize their focus on the OS. Microsoft declares the end of support date for an OS, but they stop working on that OS way before that. A company decides the end date, but in reality, they have already moved on. It is just like an employee serving a notice period. The notice period duration might be two months or so, but the employee starts focusing on his or her next job when they decide to change jobs. What I sense here is the last date of Windows 10 is almost here, within a few months. So what will happen to Windows 10? There are still so many Windows 10 users, and they can't even upgrade to Windows 11 because of the minimum requirement. Windows 11 software requirement is huge, and there are so many PCs with Windows 10 that don't meet the requirement. So what will happen to them? Well, there is one option for you to keep using Windows 10. What you can do is you can disconnect your Windows 10 from the internet and don't connect any external storage. This way you can keep using Windows 10 till you want. Not even Windows 10, but you can even use Windows 7, XP, or Vista this way. If they are equipped with everything already, you can disconnect the PC from the foreign media and keep using it. If your PC is not connected to the internet virus and hackers can't reach your PC, your PC won't even know what date is it. The date you set on your PC will only know that. I mean, how it can know if it has just been released or the end support date is crossed. If you have a Windows XP and you set its date to 2001, it will only think that it has just been born the world is still beautiful, the air is breathable, kids play outside, people talk to each other, technology is not yet advanced, families spend time together, and not everything is available on the internet. The computer won't know anything. Now, if you don't wanna go this way, what can you do? Another open option for you is to enroll in the ESU program for Windows 10. If you run a business that needs to run a certain software that only works on Windows 10, you can opt for the extended security updates, ESU, for a few more years. For this, you will have to pay about $61 for a year. So you understand that this option is strictly for businesses who are bound to use Windows 10 as if they upgrade their OS. They will have to spend a lot more in repurchasing their business software. If you are a normal user, this option would not be economical for you. Another option for you is to use some tricks to install Windows 11 on your PC that don't meet the minimum requirement. You can take the help of videos that tell you how to install Windows 11 on your old PC. But the problem is that Microsoft doesn't recommend using tricks. You can install Windows 11 using tricks, but Microsoft might stop sending you the updates in the future. You can also try using Linux, I have covered WUbuntu OS in a video that has the interface of Windows 11 and doesn't need that much system requirement. Well, we can hope that Microsoft releases its next OS Windows 12 soon. It is being said that they won't be imposing the minimum requirements to this extent in Windows 12, so you can wait for it. You can say that you don't bother with the security updates and keep using Windows 10 as you have installed a good antivirus. The antivirus will protect your PC from viruses and malware only, but it doesn't protect you from OS exploitation. Your OS is the first line of defense. If it has loopholes, what can an antivirus do? After all, the antivirus runs on the operating system. If you have a proper OS with all the updates, it is sufficient in protection, 
Even the Windows Defender, the default antivirus, is enough protection. You don't need an antivirus. But if your operating system is XP and you install a robust security suite upon it, and you connect it to the internet and then consider your PC to be a stronghold, it will be your biggest misconception. The end of support date for Windows 10 is near, and a lot of PCs are going to be dead. There are only a few options for you. We are waiting for Windows 12. If anything new comes, I will update on the channel, so subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when we publish something new. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.